in previous lessons um, we've worked on models and in this lesson we are going to work on controllers and views and see how they work. Um, we'll start with um, rails um, routing from outside in. So what we're working on basically affects a, a file called root, um, root.rb. So uh, a router recognizes and dispatches um, URLs to controllers, methods to controllers. And this is what it looks like. And there's something called resource routing. We are going to be using that to map actions uh, to get. Uh, so basically saying, are we getting information? Are we posting? Are we updating? And are we deleting um, records from a server? All right, so there's this concept of CRUD, uh, create, read, update, and delete, uh, which we use here. So uh, resources, photos, for example, will generate all these paths and actions. So in our controller, we'll have index, new, create, show, edit, update, and destroy. But the path, this is what you see in the URL. We have four slash photos, for example. We have four unique ones. So it's slash new ID and edit. But a combination, so if it's slash photos and get, we'll redirect to index, slash photos and post, we'll redirect to create, um, so and so forth. So we have ID and delete. So there are different um, HTTP verbs to do and redirect to different um, actions in controllers. I've made uh, a very uh, basic specification that covers all the models. So we are going to follow this to know when we've actually finished the project. So you don't really need to do anything here, just uh, follow through. So moderators uh, is created the first time the app is seeded. We have done that already. So what I do, I just shade this off. All right, so uh, we have a read. Uh, so we have create, read, update, and delete. And within each one, I basically summarize what needs to be done. So visiting index page should show uh, the moderator's record is what we can work on now. All right, so this is what we expect to do. We expect to, expect to go into forward slash admin moderators. So this is very similar to forward slash photos. We expect it to map to a method or uh, an action in a controller called index using via get. So URL, when you tap things there and enter, you see it comes over here and it says, we need to do something in config slash roots. All right, so let's do that. So we're going to our config and we'll open up the roots file. So it gives us a few examples on how this works. So I'm going to just remove this for now. And I'm going to say uh, namespace um, admin. And we'll pass a block into it, which you now know how what is for. And within that, I say resources, and I pass that uh, a symbol called moderators, uh, plural, to match our database table. So what we've done here is create a namespace. So we want to have everything start with a forward slash admin. When you reset this page, we can see that it's generated a few paths for us. I think there's seven in total. Um, so basically, we don't want to be able to see the delete link for a moderator. So you don't want to delete yourself, um, which would be very dangerous. So we don't want all these um, paths and um, that have been generated for us. To, do, to restrict to just what we want, we can say only and we give it um, specifically what we want. We want just the index one for now. And this is what it looks like. So we just have one get for um, slash ad, uh, moderators. So it creates a path for us, which we can use to generate this path in, within our codes. So we have one problem. So there's no constant admin. Okay, so we have to create that. So if we go into our controller, uh, right click, and we create a new folder in a controller. And we give this a name. Uh, so we'll create an admin. Okay, so sometimes Sublime takes time to, to display information once we've done that. But once that is created, it appears, that's, that's it. We can right click on this folder and create a new file. Um, this file will be our controller. So the naming is very important. So we have to call this um, moderators underscore uh, controller 
dot rb. Okay, so once we've done that, we now need to create a class, um, which I will step out of Ruby or out of Rails into Ruby and explain um, in the next video or so. So we, we say class admin moderators controller, and we say this um, extends inherits from application controller, and we end like this. I will explain this structure soon. So this is a namespace, we're basically going to admin, this is the name of the controller, and we're saying we're getting some records, some methods uh, from this here. All right, so when we reset, we have a new uh, problem. It says action index. So we have a new word, the action. So when we have definitions like this in our controller, it's referred to as actions. So we've done that, and then we reset the page. We have another error. So this is saying that we are lacking our index file, um, a missing template. So when we have a, a controller, we need to create a matching uh, controller file here. So we make a folder uh, for admin namespace, um, sorry, admin namespace. And then within um, the admin folder, we create another folder uh, called moderators. So we're going to do this for all the controllers. And within moderator, we have a new file. So this file has to be named index, index.html.erb. Okay, and now that matches up with um, our controller method index. So now when we reset the page, it's all good to go. So we haven't written anything in our HTML, hence why it, it is blank. So we come here and we can say, um, moderators index. Now when we reset the page, we have moderators index there. All right, sweet. So we've done a few things. The router has routed admin moderators to our controller, and our controller has index method, which matches up with the index.html erb. All right, so um, it's a few more things we now need to do. Sometimes we need to send information to our index.html. We do it this way. So I'm going to go into our moderator, singular, model, okay, get all the moderators, and we pass it into this. This is called an instance variable. We'll cover this soon. So whatever goes into it is available in our index. So now if we come in here, I want to create a table, and I want to access all the moderators, which is just one moderator there. Okay, so if you followed this lesson before, you, you should have already installed uh, a plugin for that helps you do this. If not, then you can just type it out by hand. Okay, create a few headers. So this would be full name, um, a username. So we are simply getting the files um, fields from here. Okay, so I'm going to skip the passwords. Um, just say when it was created and actions that we want to perform, such as edits. And do the same here, paste this a few times. Okay, I, I think one, two, three, four. Okay, just get um, get rid of one. All right, so we want to loop over all the moderators. So we do this with something called um, an each method. So we say moderators dot each. So moderators has come from our controller we use it um, you would moderator from this block and then we can end end our block here and because we're not monsters we're going to indent this and make it look tidy all right so now we have our, our moderator yielded back to us we can make use of it so we say moderator dot full name so this gives us the full name so this equal sign here is all absolutely required. It's basically saying print. If you don't use that, you will not see any results when you reset the screen. So we have full name um, from the database. All right, so now we can copy uh, this and paste it a few times here and just change some of this information. So full name, we want to see the username. We want to see when this was created. So we have created at so we remember when we made our moderators table, Rails gave us these two fields, created that and updated that. So we have those there. Reset the screen, and we have some records coming from the DB. So this is not um, 
very readable. Um, there is a, a Ruby method that we can use to make things better. So I can say time ago in words and paste um, created that there and reset. So it says three days and we can just append at the end of it ago and reset. We have three days ago. Sweet. So now we have just the actions um, left to do. So the actions um, will be will be edit. So a moderator can edit their own record, but we don't really want them to delete the record. And we only have one moderator anyways. So I'm not um, extending this. So, so far we will have all this HTML. I'm not going to add this HTML now. I'm going to leave it simple. And right to the very end, we can then add um, the HTML that we've made before. So we have now completed this bullet point. Okay, um, the edit link. I'm not going to add that yet. I'm going to add that in the next video. It has a few more logic um, that I would like to explain separately. All right, so we've learned a few things. We've seen um, how to use our roots. We've seen how to define actions and controllers, how to send information to our index file. We've looked into um, calling a method on our model. I will explain this in more detail in the next couple of videos. And that's it for this lesson. And I'll see you in the next lesson and we can carry on from where we've left. So see you there.